Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is the <clears throat> uh, American Flyer Transformer number 4B. Um, I've looked up all the uh, stats for this. I have all the wiring diagrams for this one already. I know what it runs on. I know what the wattage is, so on and so forth. 1,000 watts, yeah, that's great. Okay, uh, so let's start from the base. I did an external um, inspection. Okay, uh, casing all looks good. Um, the, uh, the switch on the outside looks okay. I'm not going to remove that. Uh, this connector needs replacement. This cable itself is pretty worn and tattered. Um, there were some some nicks in the cable, very small ones. Uh, yeah, da, 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 very small nicks. Okay, really, really not terrible. Um, but as always, when you have these these old uh, smaller gauge wires, we would like these swapped out, which is a simple enough procedure. Uh, the transformer will be removed and there will be a stud on the right and the back post and those are just a quick solder job. Um, so if somebody buys me a cable uh, with, a, with a connector on the end, I'll go ahead and swap that. Um, next thing I noticed was <clears throat> these two here are connected incorrectly. Um, this is my <clears throat> Uh, 16 volt rail, and this is a 72. That's a dash 16 volts. So that's my variable voltage there, and there's my base. Okay, and you can see right here it says base post. So this one needs to go over to the base post. And I don't need to do all this in camera, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just keep talking about. And this, this third one here is actually for use with um, uh, three rail uh, systems, not two rail systems. So this one will be unused completely. So that one will go over cha. Uh, you know, I'll do that later. Okay. So I did an internal inspection, and as you can see, all of our wires look good. Housing looks good. Housing on this one is a little lackluster, but the solder is good. It's nice and solid. There's a bunch of flux here. These are lead-based, so they will have to be desoldered and resoldered. Uh, I'm not going to do that until after um, I get a video back from the owner who has told me that this is making noise. I need to know exactly what that noise is. Okay. Let's just turn this over as gently as possible. Okay. So... My rotary switch scrapes a little bit, but it's not terrible. Okay. Now these switches are removable, um, but generally they're removable from the outside. This one is not. This one, in order to remove it, you have to remove the inside nut casing, which is all the way in the bottom, which I am not going to do at this time, obviously, because um, a lot of these little cables, which are fixed to the sides here, Okay, um, they attach the transformer themselves. So these two have to be desoldered first before all this can be removed. Okay, and obviously I'm going to want, uh, if, if the owner is going to replace this cable, I'm going to want that cable before I get started because I don't want to take this whole thing off and then have to put everything back and then resolder all of these and then come back and then have to do everything a second time. That would be a waste. Um, but I would like to get that knob off of there uh, simply so that... Um, um, we can put some silicone underneath of it. Um, and because it's so tight and low to the ground, obviously, you're not really going to be able to squeeze a lot of silicone under there without knowing whether you're making contact with other things. And you don't want to do that if you can't see what you're doing. So that's all for now. Uh, by the way, all the coils look real good. Okay, you can see the little bubbles from the, the uh, enamel varnish on here. Uh, but this all looks really solid. There doesn't seem to be any visual problems with this unit at all.